What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chatters coming to you live with some more Batman, the enemy within. Let's, go, let's get into it. I'm confused. There's writing engraved along the rim. I have an eye, yet cannot see. Who am I? That sounds familiar. I've heard it before. Don't happen to remember the answer, do you? Sadly, no. Justice. How it relates to Batman, maybe. Lady Justice is blindfolded to show she's impartial. She has two eyes under the blindfold, though. Not one. So it's something else. The eye of a hurricane. It fits the description in the riddle, but I'm not sure how it helps us. Even if there were hurricanes in Gotham, it's hard to imagine one helping us with the object in question. If that is indeed the key. The eye of a needle. But how does that relate to the object in question? Sure. Maybe it's telling us how to use it. Ah, uh, sounds very plausible. Look at these strange grooves. It's a record. Yo, it's a record. We need to go to the record player. I'm so smart. I can't get over how smart I am right now. Oh, record player, come on. Yep. Needle. A record needle. Boom. Halfway there, Batman. Means you've got half a chance of stopping a whole lot of pain. To be there honest, you you're already doing better than I thought. But don't sit around feeling pleased with yourself. Unless you want to see me tear this city apart. I suppose you're going to look in there. An open invitation from the Riddler? Of course. Huh. If Riddler was really smart, he would have put a tracking beacon on that record, and he would have used it to figure out where the Batcave is located, and then he could have used that to figure out who Batman is. I would be a way better Batman villain than any of these guys. Looks like I'm manipulating radio bands or waveforms, something. I'm not sure what I'm looking at or how any of it is actually displaying. And that sound. What? Oh, uh... I'm not really sure about any of it. Get Lucius on the line, will you? That was weird. That was a weird social interaction they just had. Hey, Alfred. Good morning, Lucius. I hope we're not interrupting your breakfast. My youngest is probably stealing all the bacon, but duty calls. Right. What's up? This is a puzzle from the Riddler. There's a strange waveform pattern I can manipulate inside that needs your expertise. I, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, I can meet you at Wayne Tower in a little bit. We'll uh, fire up the R&D lab. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important, Lucius. No, no, don't worry about it. It's actually going to be a big day for me. Tiffany starts at Wayne Enterprises. Tiffany? Really? Your yeah. daughter, working alongside you. How that wonderful. Uh, it certainly is. Bruce, I'll see you soon. Bye, Lucius. Can't wait to see Tiffany. Alright. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that was good. Out. Good hunting, Bruce. Why would you wait for me to leave to say that? Like, what good does that do me? When I'm out of the fucking room. <laughs> God. Oh, excellent. Glad I caught you. I have some good news to share. Good to I bet you any money if I chose like red or something, that would be the... That's so That's what cool. I've come to expect, with you as Wayne Enterprises chairperson. 
I just talked to the board, and they couldn't be more pleased with how our partnership with the GCPD is going. Seems like you made the right call when you decided to take that contract over the Arkham remodel. The Gazette's oh. running a piece about it. Look, I would love to hear all the details, but I've got a meeting with Lucius I've got to run to. Well, I don't mean to pry, but what's in that case? Seems like an odd thing to be carrying around the office. Oh, this? No. This is just something for Lucius. I see. Well, I've got a meeting I've got to run to. We'll pick That's up so this conversation cool. this afternoon. Sounds great. I'm, just, I'm mesmerized by the the lighting thing. It's freaking awesome. That attention. See what I mean? Like, Telltale Games always steps it up and awesome the second season. You're in my chair. <laughs> just updating the encryption on your bat tech. But if you want me to stop. No, the seat is all yours. This is the thing you were talking about? One of Riddler's puzzles. Some kind of test. Show me. Please? God, no manners. Huh. Any idea what he's planning? Not yet. That's why I need your help. If his history is anything to go by, he left us a clue. A psychological profile of Riddler. All right. Uh, knowing how his mind works, this should come in handy. No sign of explosives or poison. Already scanned for that in the cave. Shit. Huh. Well, would you look at that? Micropulse waveform. Huh, the sound it's giving off. A signal, maybe? <laughs> I couldn't decipher it. I was hoping you could help with that. I'll see what I can do. Why that Shouldn't said. take long. What in the... It's not one of mine. Think fast. It's Tiffany. It's his daughter. Hi, Dad. Huh. Know it. Tiffany? Hey, Bruce. T my God, Tiffany. I it's know been it. a while. Sneaking out of orientation your first day? I just wanted to say hi to my new boss. I got you a present. A micro drone prototype I developed in my spare time. High-end AV, stealth black shell, programmable for autonomous observation. Small, quiet, and super smart. Just like its designer. <laughs> Not bad, huh? You always had a thing for toys. So hard to know what to get a man who has everything. I love it. Thanks, Tiffany. Well, I guess it's not bad. Not oh, bad. Come on. See what I had to deal with growing up? Huh. There's something different about you. Uh, there is. And I don't just mean what happened to your ear. <laughs> oh, I can't quite put my finger on it. But you look... You look... I think the, uh, the word you're looking for is... Badass. <laughs> um, no. That is definitely not what I meant. I'm the resident badass around here. Thank you very much. <laughs> you just said that out loud. Uh, see, Bruce? It's her first day, and I'm already embarrassing her. You want to be doing your job as a parent if you Interesting. want Interesting. Don't. Too late. Already touching. Just be careful. What a strange thing. The circuitry design. It's elaborate and unorthodox. Almost intentionally so. Like, whoever put it together was kind of showing off. Huh. <laughs> Micro pulse waves? It's just weird. Seriously, what is this thing? I've never seen anything like it. It's like whoever made it. Something your dad has been working on? Lucius, care to explain? <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Just an old piece of tech that found its way into my lab. But what does it do? That's what we're trying to work out. You guys are lucky I'm here to help. Uh, Does she know I'm Batman? Help with... Figure this freakish thing out. Uh, Tiffany did graduate first in her class at Cornell in molecular engineering. Whoa. Let me take a crack at it. That's fucking amazing. I can help you get to the bottom of this. Figure out what it does. All right, if you think you can help, then be my guest. Oh, I know I can help. I just gotta let him know that I won't be finishing up orientation. Uh, no problem. Oh, I was planning on swinging by the manor after work to see Alfred. 
I heard he wasn't doing so well. That he was having some issues with his health? Oh, well, well, I'll let him tell you himself, but, uh, he hasn't been doing so great since the kidnapping last year. Oh, no. Yeah, every now and then his, uh, hands start shaking. He... <sighs> I'd like him to see a therapist, but... Oh, it's PTSD. You know Alfred. Well, maybe I can convince him. I like her. Catch you guys later. Welcome aboard, Tiffany. Thanks, boss. All right, then. Time to crack this puzzle. I never told her, you know. Told her what I really do at Wayne Enterprises. What uh, we do. If Maybe you're willing water. to pull her into this Riddler project, why not consider bringing her into the fold? I'm into totally the mission? With it. I'm totally with it. We're going to need help if we're going to be dealing with the likes of Riddler. Well, if she's anything like you... She's better than me. Okay. Then let's give her a shot. Great. I'll start thinking about... What's the difference between him not forgetting it and him remembering it? How we can broach the subject with her. That's what I want to know. In the meantime, Riddler's puzzle will be a fine start. Well, shall we go down to the lab? Actually, the equipment we need is down in my office. We'll get this taken care of in no time. Mr. Wayne. Hmm. Uh, yes? I'm Special Agent Avesta. This is my partner, Special Agent Blake. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a bit. I'll be down in my office. Keep me in the loop about that, uh, thing. Will do. So awkward. Sorry for the unannounced visit. We're with the agency's behavioral analysis unit. We just came by to ask a few questions. Please, come in. Make yourselves at home. Uh, can I get my assistant to get you anything? Uh, coffee, water, donuts? Don't worry. This <laughs> won't <laughs> take long. Cops. Oh, shit. Sloppy, Bruce. Sloppy. This office, it really represents you. Well, I like to think so. Oh, he's protecting the file. Is this you? Yeah. How old? I don't know, seven, eight, maybe. <laughs> so happy. After everything you've been through, I don't know how you still do it. Do what, exactly? It wasn't long ago when you were the most hated man in Gotham. Yet you yeah. still give so much back to the city. Why do you continue to help Gotham? Most people wouldn't be so charitable after that. My father did a lot of damage to a lot of people. I'm just trying to make things right. Thomas Wayne did cast a long, dark shadow. It must yeah. be difficult to get out from under it. Don't try what and time? profile me. What is you know what? No, fuck them. I've watched Criminal Minds, man. I know how this goes. I'm an expert in this shit. <laughs> the agency recently brought me in to draft a psychological portrait of the Riddler. We've been tracking him for months. Anything I can help with? See, I told you he'd be cooperative. Agent Blake thought you'd be cagey, defensive, based on your history. Guess he was wrong. My, my history? Uh, my history? A lot of things happened to you last year, and not all of them were good. No. You put yourself at risk when you helped bring in your friend Harvey Dent. He was a violent psychotic at the time, almost destroyed the city. Come to think of it, you've been associated with quite a few psychopaths over the years. I wouldn't go that far. I would. But criminally insane, they seem drawn to you. She figured it out. Out, she knows that I am Batman. That is the same exact thing she said in the last episode. Sorry to keep pausing it, but I just wanted to see. Let me know in the comment section if you guys came to the same conclusion I did. And don't lie to me, cause y'all. Uh, no, you know what? You can't lie to me. I, I'm not fucking genius. Either that, or you're often in the wrong place at the wrong time. Yes, having money and fame makes you an easy target. 
I've had my fair share of crazies knocking on my door. Like this guy. I think you'd know him as John Doe. Yep. We understand that it was during your stay in Arkham where you and John met and became friends. From the friendly sound of it, you two were close. Yeah, we were friendly. He showed me around Arkham. Is that right? According to hospital records, you and John were involved in a riot. They captured the whole incident on video. John cut another inmate, a man named Victor Zaz. Mm. Then you jumped into the fray. Several people were hurt. I was... I was trying to break up a fight. I don't blame you. You must have been scared. Not really. John was discharged from Arkham months ago. No one has seen or heard from him since. I was thinking maybe you have. He just checked her out. Why would you think that? He listed you as his emergency contact. Uh, sounds like you two were pretty close to me. Okay, now I'm a little creeped out. I knew him for what, a day. Maybe huh. you made an impression on him. Apparently. Well, I haven't seen or heard from him, so... Did he do something wrong? He's a person of interest. You see, we've got a wall in the office with a bunch of photos pinned to it. Two-Face, Penguin, Lady Arkham, you know, Gotham's most notorious. Okay. They've got all these little strings connecting them to one another. And like it's a me. Web. And, and you, friend. my friend, are at the center. You keep pretty strange company for someone who wants everyone to think they're such a stand-up guy. Every association you've made so far has been investigated by the authorities or covered by the press. I have nothing to hide. <laughs> All you do is hide. Hide behind the press, behind your money, your power. I think it's all an elaborate mask. She you know knows how that you're letting on, Mr. Wayne. Maybe you're afraid. Maybe you don't trust us. Or maybe you're a criminal, like your father. Maybe you're not the hero people think you are. <sighs> You've got the wrong idea. That's an evacuation warning. It's time for you to leave. We'll pick this up another time. What's wrong? Something's wrong. Bruce, get my daughter out of the building. Get yourself out. What are you talking? What did you figure out? I've I've solved the Riddler's puzzle, Bruce. Uh, Riddler really pulled a good one over on us. Lucius, just stay calm, okay? I'm gonna get you out of here. Tell Tiffany that I love her. That oh, I'm sorry I wasn't around more. Lucius, we really made a difference, didn't we, Batman? Lucius, oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. That actually is making me really sad. One killed and 14 injured after Wake a tragic explosion. The GCPD Wayne is Tower. opening an investigation Access into what they are calling an industrial accident. Wayne Enterprise's suspects. chief technology officer, Lucius Fox, died last Tuesday in the violent blast. A small service is being held for the tech giant and father of three at Divinity Church this Sunday. Jesus. You don't have to worry, Lucius. Tiffany, I'm gonna take care of your family as if they were my own. Oh my god. Just like Lucius took care of you. Exactly. Lucius helped raise you, Bruce. It was family. Riddler's attack on the casino was oh, one definitely. thing. But this, this is personal. I kind of had a feeling. We can't let him get away with it. Riddler struck at the heart of our operations and tore a family apart in the process. Believe me, Alfred, I know how you feel. But we can't make this about revenge. Riddler is a threat to Gotham, and that's why he has to be stopped. <laughs> as long as he is stopped. 
Of course. It won't bring poor Lucius back. I can't imagine how devastated she must be. Oh, man. To lose her father in such a violent way. <laughs> I should go talk to her. Yes. She's gonna be angry. She can use her. all the support she can get. Hey, <laughs> Tiffany. I still can't believe he's gone. None of this. None of this feels real. <sighs> Tiffany, I... I know what you're going through. I remember what it was like when I lost my parents. That, uh, sudden emptiness. There's no feeling like it in the world. I don't think it'll ever go away. It certainly didn't for me. He loved working for you, you know? They hardly saw him at home because of it. Mom used to complain, my little brother. Oh my god, I, I, oh man, he took, he took her daddy away from her in two ways. While he was alive, through the demanding aspects of his job, and... He was growing up without a dad. Now I guess it's true. He was so busy. I can't remember the last time I got to hang out with him. Just father and daughter. I just thought there'd be more time. I asked a lot of him. Maybe too much. And he gave it all, didn't he? A real company man. Well, uh. I hope it was worth it. Ah. Uh. <sighs> Tiffany. I'm sorry. No. I know I shouldn't blame you. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just let it out. I'm just trying to wrap my head around it all. I saw his remains, Bruce. Oh God. There, there was hardly anything left. Oh my. God. What were you guys working on that could have caused that? It's my fault. It, it doesn't quite add up. Tiffany, I will tell you soon. Just not here. What do you mean? Why not? It's not the right time. Hot, Bruce. What are you mixed up in? Fine. Just tell me one thing. That weird disc. Was that what killed him? Yes. I'm Did you put here. my father's life at risk for that? I had no idea. Uh... I'm begging you. Just tell me that one thing. I thought it was safe, Tiffany. I, I really did. I had no idea Lucius could get hurt. Please forgive me. Forgive you? I hope you can forgive yourself. Whatever you got my father into, I will find out. And I'm gonna shout it to the world. <sighs> so sorry, really. It's, it's such a shame. So At I'm least go? he went out with a bang, right? Oh. For that, we can all be grateful. You... you knew my father? Well, no. Whoa, whoa. What the heck? Seriously, Bruce? This guy's with you. I'm so sorry. I will handle this. Jeez, Bruce, that's quite a grip. Gonna leave a bruise for sure. What are you doing here? I told you I'd see you again. Didn't I? You and me, we're two threads in the same stitch. Look, I, I, 
got you a little something just, just to mock the occasion. I knew you'd be hurting, see? I thought it might make you feel better. Um, thank you, John. That's very considerate of you. Oh, good. <laughs> I wasn't sure. First time at a funeral, you see? People get upset at the littlest things. What you said to her? <laughs> it hasn't, um... It hasn't been easy for me out here, you know? I'm the new guy now. It's the freedom that gets to you. There's so damn much you hardly know what to do with it. <laughs> it's not like Arkham. Sometimes I miss those padded walls. You knew where the lines were drawn. Which one's not to cross? <laughs> you can't possibly mean that, Ed. Arkham is hell. It was my home, Bruce. And home is where the heart is. I'm almost sorry that I convinced Dr. Leland to release me. If everyone could please take their seats, uh, we will begin. Would you just sit down? Today we gather to honor the memory of Lucius Fox. He was a friend, a father, a husband, a leader. You are crashing my friend's funeral, John. You better have a good reason. Oh, I do. I need that uh, favor you owe me. You know, you might have been a little reluctant at the time, but if it wasn't for me, you'd still be in Arkham. Sleeping off your meds in the rec room with Zaz. You're gonna do right by me, aren't you? I know you're a man of your word. I didn't agree to that. But you did help me out. Friends look out for each other. Am I right? You see, I met some inspiring people out here. Made some new friends. Made a kind of pact. They're amazing, Bruce. That special breed who live by their own rules. Why are but you talking you, right now? It's a fucking of your funeral. father. So who are they? You'll find out when. You I don't like that I'm not being given an option to ignore him right now. You meet them. They're looking to bring someone like you into the fold. Talking during a funeral is like the worst thing you can do. I, you you will meet them for me. Oh, shit. Please? I've, I've got a lot riding on this. I already told them you would. Please don't let me down. I'd be happy to chat with your friends, John. Just say when and where. Oh, I was so hoping you'd say that. We are going to have so much fun. I knew this would work out. This air between us... This oh is real. God. This is like hard you to watch. enforce this kind of friendship. I want to commemorate the moment. The guys will be so excited. Put that away. This is a funeral for God's sake. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I got so caught up in it all, I completely forgot. I just know you're gonna hit it off with the Stop guys. Stop talking, oh my God. I should warn you though. I've got an enemy. Real piece of work. Calls himself the Riddler. How do you know the Riddler? No. Why are we still talking? It's a funeral. Oh, oh my god. I'm actually out. getting mad. He's a thief and a killer. And worst of all, he's he's rude. I tried this is the to guy who crashed a funeral to ask for a fucking favor. Artie's know the kind of low life they're dealing with, but wait a minute, you know him too. Of course, a man of Bruce Wayne's caliber knows everyone. I shouldn't be surprised if I ever get my hands on him. I will tear him apart. 
Oh, you don't know how glad that makes me, Bruce. You and me, we've got the same taste in people. If I had my way, that smarmy know-it-all would never leave his hole. Even his hole? You know where he is. No, no, not exactly, no. Maybe I said too much. I already said I'd meet your friends, John. Now tell me what you know. Jeez. <laughs> well, if it means that much to you. Yeah, I, I really don't know much. I heard the egomaniac always made people go to him for meetings. Somewhere in the East End. Where in the East End? Honestly, that's all I know. And even that might be out of date. Okay. If you're so eager to find him, why don't you let me help you? I'll find out where he is and get back to you. See if I can't find out where that jerk puts his head down. Do not get involved. When this clearly means so much to you. No, no. Don't you worry about a thing. I'll take care of this. Just meet my friends later. Like I asked. Look, I think I outstayed my welcome here. I'm, I'm just... You're that he went out with a bang, you fuck. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's, uh, it's been so nice catching up. Oh my god, he reminds me of a friend I had at school. Oh, so much. Oh. I respect to him, I'm not gonna get into it. I miss this. This trust between us. Me too, John. Be in touch. Goodbye, Bruce. Until next time. Intriguing fellow. Certainly not one for decorum. I don't think that outburst went unnoticed. Well, whatever you say about John, he gave me a lead on Riddler's location. Inform Gordon. Tell him to drag up GCPD records on Gotham's East End. And tell him we're on Riddler's trail. Yep. And with that, I'm going to end this episode right here, guys. I got to go to work. So, Mr. Chatters, hoping to see you all next time on Batman, The Enemy Within. Love you all. Goodbye.